Right, so before I start this video, I wanted to really quickly mention just a couple of things. The first thing is that I apologize I haven't uploaded in a while. I, yeah, I, I don't really have an excuse, really. I've just been doing other stuff, taking a bit of a break, I guess. I do this from time to time, but I will get back to uploading videos very soon. Um, but yeah, and more Bitwing videos will be coming out soon. I'm just, yeah, they take a while to make, so I'm still working on them. But anyway, um, the second thing I wanted to mention is that on Unknown Empire, well, it's not necessarily on Unknown Empire, but the members of Unknown Empire are doing a 24-hour live stream. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't be part of this because I'm actually going to be away on a holiday and I won't be able to um, do any live streaming from there. So that's a little bit unfortunate and I definitely want to do it in the, the future one if there is one. But yeah, um, the schedule will be on screen now and yeah, that, that'll be really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch any of it, but it doesn't matter where you are, what time zone it is, it is a 24-hour live stream. So you can, you know, mark the dates in your calendar or whatever you do, and <laughs> yeah, be sure to check that out, because I think it's going to be really awesome. But anyway, um, now I guess on with the rest of the video. Also, this video was recorded quite a while ago. Yeah, I recorded this video probably a good maybe two weeks ago. Um, because, yeah, obviously, I wanted to get at least two Bitwing videos up, and, um, yeah, obviously, more Bitwing videos will be coming, but, yeah, this is for now. Alright, on with the video. Hey, guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of The Unknown Empire. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just showing you this straight off the bat. As you can see here, I have been working on the house a little bit and it's looking pretty cool. I'm really happy with how this is turning out. You can see I've built that wall, that wall, I've put in a wall back here and I've, yeah, I've, I've done I've done a little bit of work off camera on this place because, well, as I said, this, this place was going to come to me naturally. I, w I really wasn't getting inspired to do the walls and stuff, but now I'm feeling it a bit today. I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling good. So, I decided to work on Tri's Abode a little bit more, and um, if we head inside, you can see I've worked out a little bit more, so I'm going to have a wall coming down there and there, and then a wall going up here, and this will be a relatively big wall, so I'm going to have to figure out something for that. I might do like a mix of maybe stone brick and polished andesite. Also, I moved all my chests to over here. Um... I'm thinking a mix of stone brick, cracked stone brick, and polished andesite, maybe? Let, let's head into a testing world and see how that would look. Welcome to my brand new Unknown Empire testing world, and boom. This is what I was thinking. Um, I apologize for this frame drops. I'm not sure what's going on. My PC should be perfectly fine. But unfortunately, I'm only running at about, yeah, 70 frames per second. I'm really not too sure what's going on there. Um, yeah, I... I don't know, maybe turning my render distance down a little bit might help. Yeah, okay, there we go. That that definitely helps a little bit. 1.14 definitely runs better than 1.13. That's that's for sure. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm thinking for that big wall because I want it to be flat because and not, not have too much detail, but I think this will be perfect for that um, because, yeah, it's a big area and I want to have a relatively plain wall. So I think I'm going to end up putting that in there. However, I am going to have to cook up a little bit of stone so that might be a little bit of um, difficulty but I think it should be fine hopefully <laughs> guys I gotta say Minchino clan waypoint branch free food free beds and free stuff I've, be I've been taking a fair amount from here um cobblestone there's a lot of cobblestone here and I've been taking quite a bit of that yeah a lot of this stuff has been used to fund my house and I guess that, that, that is what it's there for, so um, I really I really appreciate that and definitely think I could donate to it once I have more gear. I guess it could be kind of like a loaning system, right? I take out a loan from them in the form of materials and then eventually pay it back when I'm able to. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just going to cook up maybe a stack or two of cobblestone just like that. And um, because I've already got a stack of stone about, I've used a little bit of it up there, up there, and up in these three bits right there, but they didn't really use much. Uh, so, yeah, I do need to cook up a little bit. I've also got to cook up some 
uh, of the stone brick itself into the cracked stone brick. I think, I think that was in this version. Oh, furnaces up here could be cool. Okay, um, so if I craft maybe all of this into stone bricks and then smelt a quarter of it, maybe, uh, <laughs> 28, yeah, sure, that, that, that'll be, that'll be fine, um, so then I'll cook that up, and, yep, yeah, okay, Whew, that's in this version, okay, that's good, and then I can also make up maybe just a little bit of polished andesite just there, and that is basically going to be the wall that goes all the way up here, um, and probably a little bit on the back here as well, not totally, um, because I don't want to overuse that, but in the meantime, while that is smelting, I think... I want to start adding in a second floor into this place because it's it's looking pretty cool, but at the same time, it's looking pretty bare on the inside. I mean, it looks very temporary, which everything kind of is. So I do want to make a floor um, coming across here and then um, do some other things like that. So I'm thinking maybe just oak for the floor. It might get a little bit repetitive though. Hmm, maybe we could even use birch? It's only going to be a 3x3 three three floor area. That never really occurred to me. Hmm. Maybe I can include that, include this part in it as well. Uh, because this part will probably be sectioned off, just like so. And then I can include all of that in there. Maybe it could be, uh, take up a little bit more room. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm going to put a ladder on along there though, because... Actually, I kind of do want to do a staircase... It will take up a lot of room, and I might have to cover up this window. Not that it's looking at much anyway, but... Um, and I'm thinking, maybe out of oak, have a staircase. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm out. Okay. Um, have it come up, yeah, kind of like this. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to redo this a little bit, because, you know, this... Although functional, it's not ideal. <laughs> oh, no, there's so much wrong with this staircase. Okay. Well, anyway... Now that we're up here, I think um, what I want to do with the wall is have it come across. Let me use a temporary block like dirt. Have it come across uh, like this type of thing. So that, that'll go across the whole top bit there. And it's kind of flat because depth and roofs, they kind of go weird, I feel like. So yeah, this it's not going to have much depth, but that's kind of the point of it. I'm tempted to leave the staircase like this. No, okay, I can't. I can't just leave the staircase like this. I'm going to work out um, a place for the staircase, and I'll be back with you then. Okay, I think I may have seriously, seriously overestimated how many materials I would need for that wall, but let's give it a look. Um, It definitely blends in with the roof. Hmm... <laughs> Yeah, that... Huh. That really does blend in with the roof. Is that such a bad thing? I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think that could be good. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> I'm not really entirely sure. But, um, yeah, anyway. Uh, I think I want to fill in the rest of this staircase. As you can see, I put the staircase here. There's not too much room here, but this window still has a use. And I think... What I'm going to have to end up doing is because these kind of go in like that. I might have to make them upside down. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I think that looks fine. Um, so let's flip these upside down and that means that they won't connect with that. And I think I might even just replace that with a quick... Um, oh, I'm going to have to destroy this uh, with a quick little boom. There we go. Not too many people notice that detail, I don't think. But, you know, it's worth it. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is the front of the house... It's, mm, it, I, I don't really know, I don't know what to say about that, why is there just a chest here, ugh, I don't know, I don't know, I think, I, I think, I don't think it's too big of a deal, I think it looks alright, and, um, yeah, I think that's perfectly fine, anyway, I am cooking up a lot more stone and cobblestone, um, even though I really didn't need to. Stone and cobblestone? You don't cook up cobblestone. You cook cobblestone into stone. <laughs> and you can't cook up stone because there's no, um, yeah, there's no, not, none of the, uh, what's it called? 1.14, smooth stone, that's the one. It exists just in the form of stone slabs. Anyway, I'm getting really sidetracked. I think I'm just going to end up putting in blocks like that for the staircase. Yeah, I think that looks alright. And, uh, yeah, that's... 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's fine. I'm, I'm focusing on the details a little bit too much. There's, there's not really too much I can do about a lot of this stuff. And I think I'm going to have to end up leaving it. But anyway, um, now I'm going to put in a really quick wall design for that wall. And I think I'm going to have to plant down some of these oak saplings because I am out of wood. I am liking this house. I think it's looking pretty cool, Ow. And as you can see, I have have harvested this wheat farm. And there's a... Uh, I can't even remember his name anymore. You guys are going to have to remind me of that in the comments. But <laughs> anyway, um, I'm also... Man, I hate running out of materials. It it may sound like it may sound like a very simple thing, like you know, you gotta gather some more wood, or you gotta gather some more whatever, right? But I I'm not used to it. I'm still not used to it yet. But I'm sure I will get used to it pretty quickly. Um, and also, also something I want to point point out is um, if you want to be caught up to speed, uh, like me a little bit, <laughs> honestly, I'm new I'm new to the server. I don't really know too much about what's going on quite yet. But I do now because um, Mini Minchino uploaded a video going through all of the main areas of the server and it's a really good video. I would highly recommend checking it out. And um, yeah, it gives you a lot of information about, you know, all the areas that people are building in and stuff. And it's it's a really good video. It's a really well made video. And <laughs> um, Mini has explained how she has died multiple times trying to record that footage. So um. Please go go show that some love and uh, yeah because it's definitely it's very it was very helpful for me and um, yeah I definitely recommend checking that out anyway um, hopefully I'll put it in the description I forget every time I said this in the last video I think which by the way I apologize for no video uh, two days ago on when uh, Thursday I was really invested in a project in my single play world <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest I was yeah I really wanted to finish a project that I was working on in my single player world and didn't really want to, I didn't really feel like editing you know it happens sometimes you just don't really want to edit okay so this is obviously not very relevant anymore at all um as I said before I uploaded rather recorded this video about two weeks ago and that project I was talking about that I was investing time into in a single player world was actually the bitwing so well what was to become the bitwing I guess so, um, yeah, it doesn't really, <laughs> uh, what I'm talking about right now doesn't really apply anymore because, yeah, my whole, as I said before, my whole channel, you know, how everything is running at the moment has totally changed over. So, I'm, I'm uploading less, but trying to upload better content as well, um, but kind of shorter videos as well. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. I'm experimenting. So, you know, anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut up from here and then come back when we've made some decent progress. Anyway, um, oh, there we go. So I've been working on a few more of the wall designs right here. I'm thinking maybe that, and, uh, I was putting some of this along here, some, can you guess, some stripped, some stripped logs, can never get away from it, can never get away from it. Anyway, um, and I've realized that, as well as stripped logs, I use a lot of stairs. I don't usually have any, apart from that one oak plank right there, I use pretty much exclusively oak stairs. It's, it's, it's kind of a weird habit. There's a lot of things that I'm noticing with my building that I'm probably going to have to change eventually, but anyway, um, hmm, maybe we can break this up with like a couple of log beams or something. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've been farming a lot of trees here. This has been pretty much my life uh, for <laughs> for probably a solid hour in total. Actually, I wonder if I look at statistics. I was going to do this in the last episode of Tazcraft Season 2, but I forgot, which is kind of unfortunate. 6.31 hours. That's how much I've played so far. And I haven't even finished a house. I haven't finished my starter house, really. Six hours in and I haven't even finished a starter house. And you know what? I wonder if... Uh, I'll have to switch versions to go on Tazcraft. Don't, never mind. Okay, you know what? I feel like I can't really just say never mind. I, 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 I'm gonna have to switch versions to go on Tazcraft, but um, I'm going to BRB uh, to Forge One right here, and let's switch versions. <laughs> All right, so back on Tazcraft here. I kind of miss this world already. I liked this place. I really did enjoy playing on this world. Anyway. 
Um, if we go over to statistics, let's have a look at where is time played. Should be around here somewhere. I think it's above maybe um, time played. 8.44 days. So let me grab out my trusty calculator. 8.44 times 24 to get hours. 202 hours. I've spent 202 hours on the Tazcraft Season 2 world. That just shows you how much time... <laughs> that, that, that just shows you how much time I cut out of this episode. 202.56 hours. That's almost 203 hours on the Tazcraft world. That is a little bit unbelievable on my end. But, yeah, anyway. Uh, was that a creeper? That is a creeper. I don't want creepers in here. I really don't want creepers in here. Anyway, um, I'm not actually meant to be playing Tazcraft right now. I'm meant to be playing Unknown Empire because that is the server that I'm meant to be recording on right now. Anyway, terrifying realizations aside. <laughs> oh, I actually, I legitimately wonder how many, um, how many hours do I have in Minecraft in total. Anyway, uh, this, I've, I've almost got all the walls in place and this thing is looking pretty cool. Um, I can definitely see that there's a lot of flaws in how this thing looks, obviously. I'm, I'm, again, my building technique, not the best, okay? You can't really, yeah, I, I, you can't really blame me too much. Every time I see this sign. <laughs> Creeper. Oh, man. So um, yeah. Also, somebody has come along and built a melon cart. Not entirely sure who built this, but two melon for, one melon for two iron. That, that, I, I don't know if that's just me. Maybe we have some sort of crazy iron farm on this server, but that seems a little bit expensive. One slice of melon for two pieces, for two ingots of iron. I can just... Anyway, um, yeah, so this is, this is a house so far, and I pretty much have got all the walls in place. I just need to, um, if we head up here, I've done all the floors, um, all the walls on the bottom floor, sorry. Uh, so yeah, that's all the walls done. As you can see, we got some shutters, so we can close the windows if we want close half the window, whatever, and then we come up here, I'm going to have the same thing up here, same thing up here, and then I just need to put a wall in here, and wall in there, and then we, oh, and a wall up there, and then we're done. So, a couple more walls to go, but we're just about done, and I think I could get away with just filling this in with regular wooden planks, maybe even birch? Honestly, you can't even see the wall from the ground, unless you go right the way over here, then you can slightly see it. So I really don't think it's too big of an issue um, as to what that wall is. So I think I'm just going to leave it as birch because yeah, you, you can't see. You can't see what it is until you come in here and take a look. And it doesn't look that bad in here. So I think that'll be fine. Uh, but we do need to... <laughs> do, do, do you think anyone will notice? Just... just... Guys, let's just let's just keep this between us, all right? All right. So now I have a little thing to show you right here, which is the finished house. So in classic, uh oh, uh oh, I switched my I switched my streaming profile. Um, uh, let's do a dramatic reveal, as always, in classic Try Death Bear fashion. But -da, da da, a little bit high, but there we go. That is the house, and I think that might be today's screenshot, or today's thumbnail, rather. There we go. Oh, I forgot this is a version where the screenshot, like, freezes your game. Ooh. I forgot that existed. Huh. I'm so, I got so used to the smooth screenshots in 1.14. There's going to be some confusing screenshots, like... <laughs> So, yeah, believe it or not, that took me about 50 minutes. 50 minutes to do the exteriors of this house, and a lot of the interiors I still have yet to complete. So I might start working on some of those, uh, putting in just some extra details like that, and maybe filling in this roof bit as well. Maybe with something along the lines of that. Yep, there we go, I think that looks nice. And we're going to have to have a floor, which... Hmm, I'm not sure. What should I make the floor out of? What? What? Am I? <laughs> what? 
Wha- Huh? Okay. Okay. I, um... Hmm. Oh! Oh my... You know what I think it is? Is because with this resource pack, let me... Okay, maybe not. I am so confused. So just for reference, this is what it should craft right here. This block. This block right here. This um, smooth stone slab as it's called in the current version. But it is just stone slab back then. But if we switch over to the resource pack that I made with all the new textures right here. Jeff has beautiful textures for all versions. Brought to 1.13 minus. If we switch to this... Then, for whatever reason, it decides it's stone. Except for that. Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. Ooh, back to normal. Um. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I. Uh, I think I might go for some birch. Uh, some birch wood here. I'm gonna need a shovel, of course. So, uh, let me grab a little bit of iron right here. And uh, let's craft up a shovel and let's just dig out this little area in here, replace it with slabs, and I might end off the episode. Might end off today's episode. After digging out a little bit more and replacing some of the area with slabs, I'm going to say I like the birch slabs. I do. I think they're pretty cool, except I don't want torches on the floor, so I'm going to try and put torches in places like that, I guess, and that's really going to bother me. And maybe we can even put some cobblestone walls there. I know I have four. Somewhere. Okay, they're in my inventory. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try not to put torches on the floor. I'll try and put them on walls and stuff. Uh, try and put them in good looking areas. And um, yeah, but anyway guys, I think we've done a fair amount this episode. We've pretty much finished off the house. Next episode, we may do some more interior work. Or I might do some of that off camera. Not entirely sure yet. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of... Unknown Empire. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.